this guy right here, and then this guy right here, and then him. And there's a lot of more comments been asking me about my laser light combo though. So we gonna get y'all the laser light combo sauce for this video. What's going on YouTube, man? It's Mr. New Money back with another video. And today's video, like I seen the title and the thumbnail, I've been getting a lot of requests asking about my laser light combination for my Glock 19 slash Glock 23. You know, so in today's video, I feel like I'm gonna get y'all that. And I wanted to come a little swaggy though, you know. I wanted to come a little fresh a little bit, so I went Cardi A for the face. Me city on my wrist is a Baltimore trophy. I put my head down, I throw my watch up. A Baltimore roller, like that's the Baltimore trophy. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight to the video. Get into the video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. So for my laser light combination that I run on my uh, Glock 19 and my Glock 23, uh, it's a Cron Hawk. It's called Cron Hawk, which is C R O N H A W K. It's all one word. You can find this on Amazon for probably about $40, $30, $50. It's a cheap light, but it's long lasting. Like I haven't charged this light in probably like five days, six days, maybe even two weeks. Cause you know, you're not walking around every single day like this. You're not walking around every single day like this. Every single day you, you're not walking around like this. Uh, to keep it a hundred, we really put these on our guns for the style to make your gun look good. And you're going to use it like, uh, Push come to shove, you get into a sticky situation outside. I ain't saying you're going to, but if you do, you only turning this on once he start running, and you be like, <sighs> boom, that's the only thing. You ain't trying to aim your gun. You want to go to the range. You want to make sure your beam lined up right. So like I said, when you start, <sighs> and you're a big boy, so you, whoo, I'm tired. And then you lift up, and you go, boom, you know, so. That's the only reason that we really buy these things. And I know a lot of y'all gonna say something to me in the comment section about it. Oh, why did this guy got a gun? I feel like it should be illegal for him to get a gun. I feel like he shouldn't have a gun, but your opinion don't matter. Look, I got a gun. I got a gun license. I got a lot of guns now, you know what I'm saying? So keep your opinion to yourself if it ain't positive. But I know my guy's gonna be rocked with me in the comments. Yeah, he ain't lying. Yeah, that's true. I ain't gonna lie, God, give it to him, dummy. Yeah, it ain't all that though. So uh, like I said, it's the Crown Hawk. You can find it on Amazon. I'm gonna have a link in the description with a picture pop up somewhere on the screen. I don't know where at. It might be here, it might be here, it might be here. You'll never know. So I'm gonna put the link in the description with the picture pop up on screen. Yeah, and I'm gonna just show you where you get it from. So now we're gonna get into how you put it on. Uh you're supposed to use like a flathead screwdriver or something like you can see. Flathead screwdriver to get in there. But me personally, I use a penny. I use any type of coin. I just had a coin, that's what's crazy. Uh, oh, so me, I use a, like I said, I use a coin. You find your nearest coin, it might be in your pocket, ask your mother, ask your grandma. You know, you just untwist that like that, you put it in there, you untwist it, now you can get it because it's fangled loose. And you don't really got to take it all the way off because if you take it, if you unscrew it all the way, this side will fall off, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, look, you see? It can fall off if it wants to. So you don't all the way unscrew it. But after you do that, you don't take your gun and you see it's like this. By the way, it's not loaded. I'm gonna show y'all. I done shot the camera. It's not loaded. I'm not a dumb gun owner. You know what I mean? But you, I'm gonna cover my serial number up. But you see like that little ridge underneath the gun? You basically wanna line this bar up with it. So you're gonna take it. Make sure you, make sure it's lined. You wanna take it and you're gonna, like I said, line it up. I can't cause my finger below. You're gonna put it in the ridge. You want to make it fit. If she don't fit, you ain't doing it right. You don't need to oil her up. So boom, it's fit. With that same coin you use to unscrew it, coin, flat, screw out, whatever you use, you're going to take it back. And now you're going to twist it this way. You know, the way to tighten. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, you know what I mean? And you got to be careful because look, it might come down on you. So you just hold it. Give it a few twists. Like that. And just keep twisting. So when you do it, you gotta hold this side too though. You gotta hold this side, so just make sure you're not holding where the uh where the screw at. You got two screws, you could do it at you could do it at the back one, or you do it at the top. Me personally, I use the top one because that's the one closest to the ridge. So you're just gonna take your coin, you're gonna screw. Don't be scared to give it a little pressure, it ain't gonna break nothing. 
you know just keep screwing and make sure your gun not loaded when you're doing this because you're going to tend to see yourself holding your gun like up like this so make sure it's nothing your gun is unloaded when you're doing this thing this step Then you just keep giving it that twist till it tighten up. You just keep giving that twist. Like you just work with the flow. You know, you know how when you're having it with your with your lady or your partner, and she be like, "Oh, I'm about to," and you don't switch up the flow. You keep the same flow, because you keep the same flow. She gonna have a happy ending, right? It's not gonna. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't gonna. Mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. If she got tight. <laughs> hey, but that's how you put it on, you know. Also, this is a universal, you know, laser light beam combination. You can put this on anything with like the little ridge, like for instance, like right. I got that. Push come to shove. If I wanted to put it right here, I could mount it up top. If I wanted to mount it on this one, I could mount it up top. If I wanted to mount it at bottom where this one is at, I could mount it, you know. So. This was a quick short video for y'all, man. This was a quick short video on where you can find this laser light combination at, how much it costs, you know, how to put it on, how to take it off, how to line it up, what gun, you know, and then I did it on my Glock 23, which looked exactly like a Glock 19. So if you got a Glock 19 or you got a Glock 23 and you want to see how this would look on your weapon before you brought the light, this is a visual how it would look, you know. Um, I wish I had my 30 round clip in here, my 30 round magazine. I wish I would have had it with me for my Glock 19. I'd have, you know, I could put it in here to show you how it fit, but I don't have it with me. But, you know, say if this was an extended mag, this how I will look. It'll be icy. It'll be icy. It'll be icy. You know, just waving around. It'll just be icy. <laughs> like I said, this is one of them things be like this. But, oh. Before I even do this, it happened in my last video. My gun got stuck. Come whip it out. I'm gonna just put y'all on game. These buttons, when you go to whip. Oh, cool. Hey, she tried. Hey, we be right back. I like I was saying before the camera almost felt and really disrupted me. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, you know what I mean? But anyway, these little buttons right here, man, y'all gotta watch out for these buttons. I'm gonna just tell y'all now because if y'all watched my last video when I was showing you how you could still carry, you know? Then you, you would have known that these buttons do get stuck on clothing because you could get under them. So when you go to withdraw your firearm, you just got to give it some strength. Give it some strength, like, and another thing, like, before you buy this and think you're going to put this in a holster, I haven't found a holster that is fit for this laser light combo yet. So me personally, I use my pants. So, like I said, you know, there's nothing in it though. But, you know... <clears throat> You see how you gotta be quick with it though, like you gotta give it that strength, like you just might be talking like, yeah, I don't know dummy for real. And then you see yo running down and you uh, You know and you put that thing on him. You gotta put that hey, but I'ma you know, besides that, we got this right here, right? Which is that blue bean. Like I said before, this is that he tried to run. He tried to run, so you hey I'm dummy for real. Uh, and you be like, I ain't chasing him. So you line it up. Boom, 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 boom. And you know, and yeah, though, that's just for them. And I appreciate everybody who watched my videos and everybody who shows support. So y'all can stop banging my comments up because now for everybody who go to my YouTube shorts or other YouTube videos that have nothing to do with this light, when y'all comment, where do I find this light at? How much is this light? I'm just going to put the link in the comment section. Watch this video. Once you watch the video, you won't get everything you need, and then you can subscribe to me because I help you. So I, since I help you, you help me. You know what I mean? So you tell a friend to tell that friend, and then tell that friend like, "Yo, Jerome, go subscribe to yo, cause Dummy really got the sauce." You feel what I'm saying? Yo, really know what's going on. So this is like just a new name for the bean. He tried to run. He tried to run. You know, you name the bean. He tried to run, and I was tired. So. And another thing, another thing before I end the video on y'all, right? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show y'all two little buttons on the beam besides the light and the laser. So for one, 
you got this right here. It's the adjust your beam. That's left and right. And then underneath, you got up and down. So what you really want to do to make sure your laser is on point because you don't want to get out there and you think that you're aiming at this guy, stomach, chest, back, neck, and whole time you think you aiming at his neck, but you beam off. So you think you aiming at his back, but whole time your bullet gonna fly this way and hit old lady Susie and all that. And now you fighting another, you know, fighting another charge, you know, anything, anything. To, so to avoid all that, what you wanna do is you wanna take your beam, you wanna go to the gun range. When you order your beam, it's gonna come with a small alloy key. So what's the less you adjust it. So you wanna take your beam to the gun range, First shot, boom, once you shoot, you're gonna line your beam up where you want it to be. You're gonna shoot the first bullet. If it ain't where it's at, say if you put your beam in the middle of the target, but you shoot a little to the left, then you're gonna take your alloy key and you're gonna twist it and make it go to the right. And then you're gonna get another shot and you're gonna keep repeating the process until it get like that. Same thing for the up and down option at the bottom of the beam. Or you're gonna shoot, say if you think you're on his, say, say you think, I don't know, Say you think you, say you think you hitting him in the chest, but you make a mistake and shoot him in the leg. Then you're going to, of course, lower it down. Like so, basically, you just want to fool around with a beam. One shot, pow. See where it land. Adjust it. Second shot, pow. Keep doing it over and over and over and over and over until you get the process down point. So now, when he try to run, he ain't going far. So you might be 300 pounds, 40. You mean 300 pounds shorty, 400 pounds shorty. Or you might be a lazy skinny little 180 and you don't feel like running though because he too fast. Like, when he was in school, he was a track star, but he graduated and now he want to be a killer and a robber. And now he tried to rob you, but he ain't know you had that bang on you. So now you take that bang and he be like, damn, boy run a 4-2. He run a 4-2 with 40 yard day, he run a 4-2. You know what I mean? He run a 4-2 flat. You know you ain't catching him, but you mad, you gotta get him. He try to run, boom. That's the end of the video though, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. You know, subscribe to the channel. We dropping consistent bangers now. Like I said, last time I dropped a video was probably like 11 months ago. I was going through things, I had to work. I monetize on YouTube, but it's not paying me enough to sit home. And now I had to go to work. And another thing, please stop jumping my comments. Keep asking me, why you keep posting this gun? Why you keep posting this gun? Guns, they not cheap, bro. I work a job until YouTube start paying me and I start getting my type of check where I can go to the gun store and just buy, 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 buy a gun every three days, every week, every month. Y'all gonna see the same gun until I, you know, on my time can afford to buy another one. So like, comment, subscribe to the channel. When y'all see them ads pop up on the video, watch every single ad. You know? Yeah. But that's the end of the video. Be out of here, man.